Hi, pretty people. It's been a long time, just a year or so. So today we're gonna do a haul. We're gonna do an Ulta haul as well as an Amazon haul. The I Obsessed Morphe um, collection, which has the most. It has, let's see here. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve brushes that include everything from a large shadow fluff brush to a um, angled brow spoolie brush, um, a detail liner brush, bl um, blending brush, small chisel fluff brush, a smudge brush, which is like the, the flat where you can smudge underneath the eye. So we're gonna go ahead and it comes with this cute little adorable Morphe pouch. Let's pull this out because they had three different sizes. One was $12, came with like four or five brushes. And um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got some blending brushes here. Like, yeah, I mean, we've got some crease blending brushes and this was the, the highest amount that you could get and i'm i'm gonna say based on experience and based on <clears throat> um experience with other brush brands morphe does it right with the price and with the quality like um one good thing that you want to know <clears throat> the difference between the white bris bristles and the black white is a natural and um it gives that more kind of uh how do you say it um you gotta build to get that <clears throat> defined look if you're looking for it if you want a more like striking defined very present you're gonna want to use a synthetic brush brush because these um, real hair brush brushes, they will absorb the product. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to build and build and build and build. So just know that's the difference. Ooh, so listen to this drama. I guess I've been out of the makeup game for quite a while to not have known this. Maybe I'm out of the loop, I don't know. But Becca's Champagne Pop has been a popular highlighter for I mean years and I guess Becca <clears throat> they sold or went under or did something and completely rid of their entire stock of makeup but they kept champagne, champagne pop which is a highlighter and they um, collaborated with Smashbox to keep that. Now I had a sample size of it and I dropped it, shattered it, and I was so upset because this is one of the most beautiful. Oh, let's test out one of our brushes because even though one's an eye brush, I saw that large blender brush that could be easily used as a highlighter brush. Put that in the trash. Okay. So one, I'm going to do a swatch. So that you can see it and then two I'm going to apply all right do you see how beautiful I mean it's hard to see with the lighting Ooh, but it's very like it's the perfect champagne color with just a dash of pink just a dash and that's why it was so popular for so long because it was so versatile for any, I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. And obviously you can use that as your highlighter on your face, your cheekbones, your nose, above the brows, on the eyes. I mean, it's just a beautiful color. And um, 
I've seen it be used on darker skin tones. Like right now I have on a self tanner. I, I wouldn't consider myself like a, a fair or a light. I'm kind of closer to a light medium. So, and I, I intend on kind of keeping it that way throughout the summer. So let's go ahead and try this. I mean, just look at that. Look at that stunning. Ooh. Yeah, you can't get rid of, you can't get rid of champagne pop. Very, very pretty. And you can apply it with a fan brush. Um, you know, it, it's just a preference thing, but just know if you're gonna go to Ulta and you're looking for um, Champagne Pop by Becca, it is now, you're gonna have to ask a sales associate because it is through Smashbox now. There is only one other product that, um, that Becca decided to keep through uh, Smashbox and we'll get to that shortly. And what will be used back here. Okay, so we're gonna save some of the good for the la la la. Okay, so I got a new um, foundation. Born This Way by Too Faced has always been a favorite of mine. A more affordable, kind of in the middle. Um, more expensive than a drugstore brand, but definitely less expensive than a very luxury high-end brand, for instance. Um, I've tried everything from Pat McGrath to Il Maquillage to Born This Way to Maybelline Fit Me. And in my opinion, it just depends on your skin type and what you're looking for at the end of the day. Not to mention the seasons out here. It's hot, we're getting sweaty. Um, if you've got combination skin, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing your skincare at night and in the morning because I know I tend to flake even if I exfoliate. So I just have to pay attention to that. And um, and then I produce oils at the same time. So I'm a, I'm a combination skin uh, type. <clears throat> So I always go for a natural, um, a natural finish uh, foundation or concealer, just because if I go for the dewy, it's just too dewy. Because at the end of the day, even though I'm flaky and I set my makeup, I'm already starting to grease and I need to blot mid a third of the way through the day and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of people so I like to stick with the natural finish I do set it with a powder with either a brush or um, a sponge um, uh, make sure that sponge is wet and wrung out do it properly um, and uh, yeah, I just uh, I just prefer it for my skin type. Uh, it's just really depends. You need to do a little bit of research if you're unsure of what kind you need for your skin. So your skin doesn't look cakey, doesn't look super oily, um, and how you need to be applying it in the beginning of the day and touching up throughout the day. We're gonna move on. By the way, I picked, I went out and I got this shade Praline. Just because, ooh, here's something that we get to test out that I've never tried before. So this is from the brand Tarte. This is called the Tarte Quick Stick. Um, it's a shadow and a liner. It's waterproof. And um, let's see here. So one end, I don't know if you can see that, comes with like the cream stick and I've been wanting to get the one brand they keep advertising on Facebook in this one color because the girl's skin tone, it just like looks like such a beautiful natural color. And then it comes with the black, um, I think my cat's trying to get in. 
It comes with the black eyeliner, so you can do kind of like the ombre, the natural look. So let's go ahead and just test this out. By the way, this is in the color Mauve Luster and Black. Go. Um, rather than sitting there and trying to blend, 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 and I, I have mascara and uh, foundation and such. Let me let my cat in. She's gonna be first. We're gonna swatch the mauve luster. Ooh, that's a pretty color, and it's definitely got a sheen but it doesn't have any glitter in it, which I like because I'm not a fan of glitter. It depends on, on the occasion, but um, these are the kinds of shades that you want to kind of pick out for your, for your skin tone if you are going for a natural look. And this is something I guarantee that I can blend with a brush before it dries. But I'm just kind of going to work with the finger. And I didn't read the entire label, but I'm thinking this might dry down to a powder finish. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Can you imagine just layering that up real nice with a little bit of darker, a little darker kind of mauve color. Ooh, mauve color destroying my new desk by the way we have new setup official setup we're in my room i got a new desk we're gonna have to get some decoration in the background but you know yeah that's a pretty color i like that a lot they had some other really pretty color. Ooh, that's super pretty, like from far away. And then I'm assuming this is just your simple black eyeliner. It looks like I may have, that was the end that got kinda <laughs> damaged in the toss. That's very smooth, very, very smooth. In the, in the camera, it, it's picking up brown, but in person, it's a it's black. It's definitely a black color, and it's probably because of the warm lighting. But that's, that's a really pretty color. Um, and you want to consider your undertones. Are you a cool, which is like a pinkish undertone? Are you a warm, which is more of a yellowy undertone? Or are you... A neutral which has a little bit of both okay I'm saving the best for last in this bag this is the other Smashbox Smashbox and Becca um, product that literally exists for Becca anymore and that's very sad to me because I mean I kind of grew up with Becca and this is something that um, one of the salespeople sold to me just because she said she doesn't use um, under eye correctors or concealers just because uh, the finish, the way they lay, um, they can be kind of crunchy or flaky or just wear off throughout the day. Now again you got to consider your application your skin tone whether or not you need a dewy because you're dry or whether or not you need a matte because you're oily or whether you need a natural because you're a combination it's it's something you have to just work with your skin and remember that you're not your skin doesn't change you have to change with the seasons if you're living in a state or environment in which seasons change so you have to accommodate your skin or your products to your skin that's accommodating to the weather so you know and um she did say this is it says under eye brightening corrector which i think i might try i got the fair because what I plan to do is 
<clears throat> go ahead and apply this under my concealer because I, because I do have some, you know, not, not the worst dark circles, but you know, it is what it is. Life is life. Life is life. Okay, so another piece of advice. If you are going to apply a cream-based product, I suggest my cat is playing. I'm so sorry. Um, piece of advice. Uh, I find better luck applying cream products with our, uh, not artificial, synthetic brushes. Just because, again, a natural haired brush is going to absorb your product. So I'm just going to try this under one eye. Oh, yeah. I just dabbed it and it's, um, oh my lord, oh my lord, kitty get down, sorry y'all, that is a beautiful, and we're talking going over top of about, let's see here, probably 14 hours of makeup. That is actually beautiful and brightening and I may not even have to add because in the container it looks pink. You may not be able to tell it and pick it up on the screen, but in the container it looks very, very pink because it is a corrector, but I like it. I like it as a, um, as a, you're going to have to get out, Missy, if you're going to, hey, you're going to have to get out, Missy, if you don't settle down. Okay. Um, but I like it for a concealer. We're going to have to try that out with, um, foundation. Okay. I know it's not a brand new palette, but it is the Morphe Gilded Desert. It may be a brand new palette. I've been so out of makeup for a year, so I, I could be wrong. Um, it is the 35U Artistry Palette, and I'm telling you what, can't go wrong with Morphe. I have never bought a product that I did not love from Morphe. I'm not gonna swatch every one of them. We're just gonna like take a look. And I'm a real big fan of the bronzing natural nudes. Oh my goodness. And the picture, I mean the picture, the camera just doesn't do it justice because there's some pressed glitters. There are some mattes. There are some shimmers that are in here that are just beautiful. I mean, you think, how many times can you do a nude palette? But there's so many different shades, so many undertones. And I, I like this because there's a variety, almost of like a, the cooler, the cooler, um, What's it called? Uh, neutrals and the warmer neutrals. Which, shout out to us cool cool girls. We need some love too, right? It's always warm, warm. You know what? There was one that I wanted to swatch and I'm gonna, I don't know if it's labeled in here. It sure is. It's called Sonora and it's got just the slightest flake just it's like a, a chocolate like a neutral brown with the, just a hint of gold flake so we're gonna go ahead and swatch that because I just want to see Mm. 
I don't know if the camera's picking that up a little bit, but. Yeah, I bet natural light. Oh, you see those little gold flakes? It's so subtle that it's almost like it's not there. And that's what is really cool. Ooh, and there's another one called, just we'll do one more, bronzed and buff bronzed and buffed and it's like it almost reminds me of champagne pop but it's got that very subtle gold golden into it it's got the color oh maybe i'm a little dark let's do it on a lighter part of me hang on here we go Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It looks a little more, a little more cool in the pan, but it could be the lighting again. All right, let's move on. So 35U Gilded Desert by Morphe. I believe I paid 26. And it is uh, 35 shades. How can you beat that? I'm sorry, but Morphe is just killing it. Doing it. Okay, so this whole thing, this whole shopping spree started because of my new favorite scent. I got a sample of it. It's how, how it always starts. It's the Valentino Born in Roma Eau de, de Parfum. And there is a difference between the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de pa Toilette. Toilette. My little fancy scissors. I got my whole setup here for my... Uh, these might not be the best for opening a label, but they're shaped like the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that the cutest? And everything's in rose gold. Most of the Valentino products come in this like spiky, but it's not always going to be in the pink. Now this has, um, I'm going to read it to you. It's, I'm into the very woody, very kind of, um, no, it doesn't have the index for me. It sure does not. Okay. Well. See, that's the thing is, this is why I like it. It's, it's versatile enough to be a spring, summer, fall, or winter. I smell a hint of floral, a hint of like wood, which I've mentioned before is my favorite, the woody, um, very natural, kind of almost like the men's, uh, it's just so good. Um, so if you ever get a chance to go into Ulta, I'm not sure if Sephora carries it, um, go check out, it's the, uh, again, the Valentino, Born in Roma, um, Eau de, Eau de Parfum. And um, when you go in and you collect your points and everything, last I saw this was available as an add-on for your points, not just as a sample. So you get like the bigger size. So we went ahead and we got that. Um, I got my Neutrogena. Now, here's the deal. I like to take off my makeup with the lavender nighttime ones just because I do have sensitive and combination skin. I know that wipes don't 100% remove makeup, and I don't wipe off my makeup and go to bed. I'm well aware of that. I've watched way too many videos on skincare by dermatologists and esthetician, 
tacticians can't say that dang word um but because the chemicals that are on the product are being left behind and you are in the end ultimately missing some of that makeup so this is just like a first step in removing all the excess so that you're not just taking your cleanser and then missing even more now it's it's better and more advised to go with a cleansing balm or oil because you're not being so rough with your skin but I'll be honest I don't have the time and I love these or any kind of um, wipes intended to remove makeup so bought a two pack of those because I've been doing a lot of the um back and forth between real tanning and either not spray tan at the salon but I get the Saint Tropez I get um some stuff from Palm Beach Tan which uh it's either their brand or it is outsourced by other companies um but it, it really just depends on what you're looking for what your skin tone is naturally as to what you want to do so scrubbing exfoliating huge important step in going in before you add any any self tanner whether it's drops spray mousse uh, lotion whatever it may be because if you have dry patchy areas guess what that self tanner is gonna do it's gonna collect and it's gonna look rough because girl I have done it and it ain't pretty <laughs> okay so um, yeah got my re up on that and if you want to see um, all of my tips and tricks on what I do like start to finish for my self tanner routine. That was actually one of the first videos that I reposted when I started posting up again. I'm real quiet and timid and like standing there. It looks like I'm naked but I'm wearing my towel and I'm all scared. One, because it, it had been a while since I posted. But two, it was because my mom and my son were running around downstairs. So I'm trying to like not let them hear me because I was embarrassed and now, you know, don't really care too much. I went ahead and got the um, Fenty Beauty uh, sponge just because I needed a new sponge. It's that one that's like shaped like a half egg. I also purchased, ooh, we're going to do that next because we got one more thing in this bag and then I'm going to get into uh, the rest. Um, because I have combination skin, I kind of go back and forth between my cleansers. I used Purity for a very, very long time, but it is just so pricey that if, I'm trying to say this in a nice way. You do get what you pay for. However, you also can find, number one, dupes. But two, you can find what works for you and you need to give it time. You need to give it a routine at least a couple weeks to see if it's working. And you need to stay up on your, on your uh, skincare routine. You can't just do it in the morning and like wipe off wipe off all your makeup clean it all off from the night before i say that because i have a habit of doing that falling asleep and out i am but um i went ahead and purchased this neutrogena skin balancing two percent polyhydroxy hydroxy acid purifying and softening gel cleanser because it's for normal to combination skin and um, from a lot of the videos of the um, 
certified and like doctorate estheticians and um uh I just used the word earlier dermatologists um you need to understand what kind of cleanser you need based on your skin type so there's so many videos out there do your research before you purchase anything look at reviews look at similar skin types t look at vlogs look at videos of you know if you have this skin type what types of cleanser should i use and what should i avoid you know stuff like that so i try to stick with stuff that is easy on my skin but will help to kind of clarify because you know the lighting makes it appear that my skin is very you know flawless as they say which is what a lot of the um influencers do but unfortunately that's filters and lighting we don't we're not perfect so i do get bumps i do get acne um it is what it is so i try to go for clarifying and i try to go for any kind of retinol and then i switch on and off to a um a chemical exfoliant uh you don't want to do two both in the same night otherwise you're going to be in a lot of pain um and you want to get your skin used to it so just go in do some research on your skincare if you don't know what you're doing um I wanted to try this out it's a cheaper version and um, because of the summer months and the oil just seeping sorry too much information but I just I, I need to keep it smooth need to keep it smooth okay lastly for Ulta I uh, wanted to try this on this is by okay and it's a matte lipstick in the color hitch hike i liked it i tried it on as a sample and i thought it was really pretty with um i love the packaging it's so pretty it reminds me of um what is that one it's real expensive high-end uh does the ambient lighting highlighter And because I'm a cool toned undertone, I like to go for the orangey uh, kind of not purpley or pink undertones because they just don't look quite as good on my skin tone. But this is good for either everyday use at the office or um, for like a natural going out to dinner for a um, you know, business meeting or what have you. So um, yeah, I like that color. Again, that's Urban Decay in the matte shade Hitchhike. Okay, next. 